Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I am the makeup enthusiast. Today I'm bringing you an update on all my project pan items. I'm going to let you know how I'm going, let you know if there's any products I've used up and if I'm including any new products. So without further ado, let's get into the video and we'll see how I'm going. Uh, so I'll grab the first item. It's the Body Essentials body lotion that I had. I'm going very well with this but I still haven't finished it up so this is where I was up to with the with the start and this is my first update so I think I'll probably have this finished by the time my next update comes around but it's slow going with this one I think at the moment because I've got a few new body moisturizers that I would much rather prefer than this but if I can make that much progress in, I think, what is it, six weeks, I should definitely be up to use this up. I've just been like putting like two or three pumps on my hands and slathering it on my each leg, so that's why I've managed to use up so much. The next item is the perfume that I had. It was the Rihanna, I think it's Rebel perfume. So this is where I was. I don't know if you can see that, and this is where I'm up to. So I made quite a bit of progress. But I think it's going to be getting slower because as as I get down to the bottom of the bottle, the bottle gets bigger. So probably won't make as much progress between now and the next update. But hoping maybe, maybe not the next update, but the update after, I should hopefully have this perfume finished. Another product that I've, I've only made quite a little bit amount of progress on this. I'm still, I don't know how to use this product. Like, it's the Lush dry shampoo I've used a tiny little bit like that's where I was and that's where I'm up to I don't know how to use this product like if I dump it into my hands and then put it in my hair it goes all over the carpet if I dump it straight into my hair and then like rub it out a bit it looks like I've got dandruff so I don't know this one's gonna be a really slow product next is one that I haven't used at all I'll show you maybe I'll show you all them it's the cha-cha tint the little sample I haven't used this because I've been focusing on the other tints so this one will probably be the next one to start using I guess same with the posy tint I haven't really used this because I've been focusing on I think it's the Benny tint I've been focusing on the Benny tint high beam I've only used a tiny little bit so you see that line up the top there and I've only used a tiny little bit the problem with this one is I'm getting to the point where it's hard to get out like I've taken the stopper out so that's why I made a fair bit of progress but I don't think my metal let me try I don't think my metal spatula is going to fit yeah see I don't think I'm going to make much more progress on this because my metal spatula doesn't fit in that hole to get any of this out so I'll have to see and the brush doesn't go to the bottom of the bottle so a bit at a loss as to how to get that last bit out of this one so oh keep you posted next is the sunbeam once again I haven't really used much of this up mainly because I don't like liquid illuminators so I'm struggling struggling to use it up next is the eyebrow gel by Ico I've made a little bit of progress I've mainly been focusing on my elf eye eyebrow kit so that's why this one's kind of been neglected a bit I've been using one or the other not really both next I've got the benefit Ulla lift I've used a little bit of that one up I think this is be quite easy to use up if I actually focus on it so I'm gonna give that a try next is the urban decay naked skin concealer and this one's quite hard to mark because the bottles like covered in concealer but I have I put it up against one of my lights here they get quite bright on my mirror so I think I've used about that much up I have noticed it's slowly getting lighter and when I open it up I can like scrape the sides and see some like clearness I guess you could say so I think I'm making pretty good progress with this I am using this like every day for work so I'm using using it a bit a fair bit but I don't use much when I use it because I don't really like it. Next is a product I haven't been using mainly because I've been focusing on another product. It's the Too Faced lipstick. I haven't made any progress on this because I've been focusing on that slope, Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker lip gloss. Next is my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. So that's where it's up to. I'll see if I can grab a photo of when I started. 
so I can show you how much progress I've made. But that's it there. I think if you can see, if you can see like that orangey bit there in the middle and all the, the clear, the, not the clear, the silver pan around the outside of that like powder bit in the middle, I think that's pretty much how much progress I've made. But I have noticed that the rim around the outside i'm starting to notice more and more so it's not level to the metal pan it's getting quite shallow around the outside so i think with this one i'm probably going to get to the point where i'm going to have to repress it and like keep going and then repress and keep going but the thing that's really annoying me about this is the packaging like look at the lid it's all cracked and i can't keep it shut like when i try and keep it shut on my vanity it just opens like this it's a pain in the ass next is the mary kay cream to powder foundation i'll have to have a check back but from memory i haven't used this at all so i don't think i've made any progress but i will check back because i don't remember being there being that tiny little bit of pan there so i'll have to check my video from last month my original project pan and see if I actually have used this or not. Next is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. That's it there. I have definitely noticed some progress on this. It's getting quite a generous dip in it. I will once again see if I can leave a photo up here showing you where it's come from and where it's at. But yeah, I'm not sure. I have been opening it up and going, gee, I'm making some good progress. So. Next is the Girl Meets Pearl by Benefit, the sample. That's how much I've used. I am struggling a little bit with this one. We'll see how we go. Next is my Hula Bronzer sample. As I said in my project pan, I wanted to mainly get rid of that Hula writing in the middle there. It's slow going at the moment. As you can probably tell from that, I've been, you probably can't tell, I'm trying to get rid of these two O's there. So far, I'm not really making any progress. Next is the e.l.f. eye kit. Now I feel like I'm making some serious progress on this. The wax here is getting a serious dint in the middle here and then up in the corner here with the powder. That's mainly where I've been focusing with the powder but I have been noticing I'm using the wax more than the powder. I find the powder is a little bit too orange for my brows so I have been using the wax which is darker more for my brows. Next is the Josie Moran uh, cheek tint so I'll show you my little I've marked off on my thing this one this one here so this is where I was up to last time and this is where I'm up to this time so I have made a little bit of progress I've kind of jumped from one of the products I've used up that I have for my cheeks to this one I've mainly been focusing on this one since I used the product that I've used up the NYX Jet Black Eyeliner, apparently I haven't made any progress. I feel like I have used this a fair bit, but when I marked it off, when I checked it with my, my chart here, I haven't made any progress at all, so I'm quite disappointed about that. My Vanity Lip Liner, that's this one here. So that's where it started and that's where I'm up to. I find with this one I'm making somewhat progress because I have to sharpen it quite a lot to get a nice tip on it to line my lips if I do end up using it. Next is a dry cosmetics lipstick. I haven't made any progress on this. Once again, I've been focusing on that Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Packer Lip Gloss. Now my two Laura Mercier eye pencils. I've basically made the same amount of progress that these two here. So the top line there is where I was and that's where I'm up to on both of them. So it, I've basically made the same progress on each of them. I am getting to the point, like the rose gold one, that it fully wound in and it's not showing over the top of the cap. So I'm quite proud that I've made that much progress. And same with the moonlight. I've made a little bit less progress on the moonlight than the rose gold. And then my Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker. Oh man, I've made so much progress on this. I'm so proud of myself. If you have a look, I'm not sure whether my camera's going to show it. All the way down in there is where the lip gloss is. Look at this. That 
ladies and gentlemen, is how much I have left. So, this one on the end here, that's where I started and that's how much progress I've made. So, I reckon maybe next update or the update after this bad boy is going to be finished. I'm so excited for that. And my last items, you guessed it, I have used up some products already. How, how good is that? So, I've used up my Benny Tint. All gone, that's how much I used up. So it got to the point with this Benny Tint that I actually had to pour it out onto my little metal palette because I couldn't get, because I'm not sure whether you can see in there. See how the brush, like, you get to the point with these where the brush doesn't touch the product anymore and it's impossible to get it out. Luckily this one is like really liquidy so I could open it up and pour it out onto my my metal palette and then use it. I've also used up the Sarah McNamara Skin Vanish Primer Thingo. Well, I was using this as a primer. So that's how much I used up. And I also, you can't really tell, but I have used it up. I used up the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. So that's how much I used up. You can kind of see, like I've scraped this bad boy as much as I can. The shape of the bottle makes it quite hard to get my spatula in there and I can't quite get around in it. So that's all the products that I had in my project pan and the ones I've used up. Now this month I've decided to add an item and it's the Bobbi Brown Longwear Even Finish Foundation. So I think I'm up to about here with this one. So I'm about halfway. The main reason why I'm wanting to use this up is it's getting quite old. So I just want to focus on my older products, my older like foundations and lip products and see if I can try and use them up. So any liquid products, I get a bit iffy about whether they get a bit funny at the end of it. So there you have it guys. That's everything that is rolling over into next month's project pan and the products that I used up. Uh, let me know what you've got in your project pan. If you want to see more from me, click that subscribe button down below. Give me a like if you like my project pan videos and I will see you in the next update. Bye guys. See ya.